Alright guys, Callum here from 505 and I'm introducing new videos that are going to be added to a, the channel which are called uh, Callum's Photoshop Tutorials basically step by step guides uh, how getting you to edit your images to the maximum standard you want them and so yeah, so we're going to get started by doing a simple one for beginners and experts really, any type um, it's called Changing of the hair colour, basically just change the hair colour to whatever colour you want. So right, let's get it started. Um, so right now, if we're going to click on a new layer, change it to a soft light, click on the brush tool, and change the brush to a soft brush, I'm using a soft round, and you have to have it on these settings, so you have to have hardness on 0, opacity on 50, and flow on 100. And you're able to then yeah once that's done just increase the brush size as you go along by using the bracket so it's like a quarter of a square bracket i don't know what it is called i'll add in the description um so i'm just doing strokes uh you can well actually let's change a color maybe to a red look nicer uh so yeah i'm just doing strokes you can do the whole hair if you want but don't worry if you go over, it's easy to just rub out using your razor tool. Um, doo -doo -doo. And let's go in, probably on this one down here. And let's zoom out a bit, oh, that's too much. As I said, don't worry if you go over, you can always rub it out. So, right, once that's done, uh, if you've gone over, obviously, you just click on the, the eraser tool. You have to have it on the same settings as the brush, so hardness, zero, opacity, 50, and flow, 100. And you zoom in to whatever bit you went over, such as here. Um, oops, over here. And if you've got these bits coming, if you're doing um uh, highlights just like I am, uh, if you've got them coming down from each hair, like a bit of hair, you can just point it off to make it look more realistic. Is it? Hmm. Make it shrink. I should go further up, but I will. Um right, so once that's done, as you can see, I probably need to add a bit more just down here, so I get a roughly the same amount of color as each other bit. I zoom in there. and yeah, basically that's it. Now, once you've done that, if you don't like the colour, obviously, uh, if, I don't know, if I, if I say if I didn't like this, I could easily just go on the adjustment, click on hue and saturation, and then you want to right click on hue and saturation, uh, saturation, text, click create clipping mask, then you can easily just change, it will put this in a group, um, the layer one, which is obviously the hair, the highlight, sorry. And you're able to change around the color if you want. Uh, let's say, if you don't like it, probably pinks looks alright. Um, yeah, you're able to increase the lightness. Mm, sorry, I zoom clicking it. Well, that probably looks, uh, looks alright. Yeah, so that's basically it, really. Um, so yeah, now you have your finish picture with uh, different coloured hair or oh, you can remember you can always do the whole hair instead of just highlights so yeah uh, thanks for watching and remember to comment rate and subscribe thanks